In order to start our assignment, let's first go ahead and set up our storyboard. So I've gone ahead and created a new project and I called it NS User Defaults, Segways and Protocols Challenge Solution. So what the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag in two additional view controllers. And this is going to be for our create account view controller as well as our sign in view controller. So let's reposition these. And what we actually want to do is we're going to move our regular view controller here that's already preset up down to the bottom here because we're going to actually start with another view controller. And the reason we're going to do that is just so we can have a nice naming convention. So we'll actually move our arrow here. And let's go ahead and create a file to manage this. So we can go to File, New File. And we're going to say iOS Cocoa Touch Objective C class. And I'm going to make this a subclass of UI View Controller. And let's call this CC Sign in View Controller. So I can go ahead and press Next and press Create. So that's going to be the first view controller that we enter. And we're going to need one other view controller here. We're going to call this create account view controller. So let's go to iOS Cocoa Touch Objective C class. We can press CC create account view controller. Press next and press create. And what's the first thing we always do when we create these new files? We go back to our storyboard here and we update the class that manages each one of these view controllers uh, in the identity inspector. So I'm going to go ahead and select the identity inspector and this is going to be CC sign in view controller and this one's going to be CC create account view controller and let's go ahead and embed our sign in view controller in a navigation controller so we can go to editor embed in navigation controller and Let's go ahead and we're going to start setting up our views here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to hook up our views here. So I'm going to drag these over a little bit. And I'm going to do this actually in my scene outline. I think this is the easiest place to hook up um, segues between different view controllers. So I actually want to be able to segue from the sign in view controller to the create account view controller as well as just my regular view controller which is where I'll display some information later. So let's go ahead and make sure that we have our sign in view controller selected and we can hold down the control key and we're going to go ahead and drag to our create account view controller and let's go ahead and make this uh, a modal transition and let's go ahead and hook up our sign in view controller to our my view controller as well. So we're going to again holding down the control key drag to the view controller and I'm going to go ahead and select modal again and we'll see that this hooks up both of our view controllers here when we get these lines. So if I select my segue and I go to the attributes inspector we can actually give this segue an identifier. So I'm going to say to create account uh, segue and let's go ahead and we can say to view controller segue. And you know, actually, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. I'm going to call this to create account view controller segue. So it's a little bit more explicit. All right, but this is just an identifier. And what this is going to do, allow us to do, is in code, we're going to be able to access this identifier and we're going to be able to make the segue occur or the transition to a new view controller occur dynamically in code based on some action. So rather than just hooking up from a button or a table view cell to another view controller, we're actually just going to hook these up, give them an identifier and call them dynamically in code. And, and that gives us a little bit more control over when these segues are going to be occurring. So my sign in view controller is going to need a few things. We're going to need a few text fields. So I can go ahead and search for text field on my object library. And let's go ahead and drag two text fields in. And I can drag another set, I can copy it, or I could just drag another one in, right? Either way works. Uh, I could have also dragged it like this. But we only need two. Um, so now I have two uh, text fields here, and I also need two buttons. So let's go ahead and actually, you know, we'll just put one button here. We're going to put one in the middle and let's change the text and we'll simply type login. And instead of having a second button here, let's actually make this a bar button item. So we can go ahead and drag this into the top here and I'm going to double click and we can put um, 
you know, create account. So great, now I have two buttons and I have two text fields here. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of placeholder. So we should say like enter username and we could also say like enter password. And let's go into our create account view controller next and start setting up the view for this. So notice we're using a modal transition so we don't get a navigation bar here. And we're going to go ahead and let's add some text fields here. So we're going to search for text field again. I'm actually going to drag three text fields in. And we'll see why we need that in just a second. So let's drag my first text field up here and enlarge this. And I can set up my second text field and enlarge this one as well, as well as my third text field. And we'll hook this one up as well. So great, um, for my first text field, let's enter some placeholder text and we can say enter username and we can say enter password and let's add a confirm password field just to make sure that my user entered their password incorrectly. So we've confirmed password and now we're gonna need two buttons. So we can drag two buttons in and my first button I'm going to entitle uh, create account and my second button I'll entitle cancel and what these buttons are what's gonna happen when I press these buttons if I press the create account it's gonna go through it's gonna check to make sure that the users entered a username a password and a confirmed password and that these two are the same and if the user presses the cancel button, we're going to simply call a delegate method that we'll define in our sign in view controller. And by calling that method, we'll make, uh, we'll dismiss our current view controller in the sign in view controller. So the final thing we're going to want to set up is our view controller. And what we should display here, we should add two labels. And this isn't really too secure, but this is just, uh, you know, hammering home the idea of. Uh, entering information in. So let's go ahead and add a few labels here. Uh, I was going to add two for as the uh, to give it context and then two more actually display information. So let's go ahead and enlarge these. And what we'll do is we'll display the username and password just so we can see it graphically and make sure that we're able to display this information. So we can say username and I can also say password. And what we're going to do, want to do is display the username and password that the user used to log in to the application. So let's go ahead and hook everything up. Well, the first thing we're going to want to hook up is our sign in view controller. So holding down the alt key, we're going to press it on sign in view controller.h. And we need to hook a few things up. So let's first hook up our text fields. So I can add a few returns here. And the first one we're going to hook up is a username text field. And notice that we're going to choose outlet connection and it's going to be type UI text field and storage type is going to be strong. Next, I'm going to hook up my password text field. And again, outlet and UI text field and strong. And I'm also going to hook up my create account button. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this in and I'm actually going to make this type action and I'm going to make it a type UI bar button item, which is the bar button item I added to my navigation bar here. And let's call this create account bar button item pressed. And I know this is a really long name, but it allows us to be very explicit. Like what happened here? Well, specifically the create account, which is the name of this button, but it is a bar button item was in fact pressed. So this is an action that occurred. So we can press connect. Uh, and we're also going to hook up our login button here. I'm going to make sure I've centered this up nicely. Uh, a little bit more there, right there. And we're going to hold down the control key and drag. And this is also going to be an action. So when I press this button, we're going to check the information, our username and password. And we're going to make sure that that information ties to what we have in NS user defaults. So we're going to go ahead and press um, login button pressed will be the name of our action. And make sure we choose UI button as our type. 
and the event will be touch up inside and the argument will be center. So we can press connect. So great, we have our sign in view controller hooked up. Next, we need to hook up our create account view controller. So we're going to hold down the alt key and press on create account view controller.h. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to first hook up my text fields again. So I'm going to select my username text field. And we can make this an outlet. So we're going to say username text field. And I'm going to also enter, add uh, my password text field. So we can say password text field. And finally, we're going to do our confirm password text field. So let's say confirm password text field. So great, now that we have all three of our outlets here hooked up, let's go ahead and hook up both of our IB actions. So let's select our create account button. And let's make this an action and we can call this create account button pressed and make it type UI button, make sure it's an action, touch up inside and sender. And we can also hook up our cancel button next. So we can, let's drag, control drag again. And let's make this an action, and we can call this cancel button pressed. And we'll make this type UI button, touch up inside sender. So great, now we have our create account button view controller set up properly. So the final view controller that we need to link up to the header file is our regular view controller. So we're gonna hold down the alt key and press on cc view controller.h. And let's select our label here, and we'll call this username label. And let's also hook up our password label. So great, now we've managed to hook up our storyboard uh, to my view controllers. And for the rest of this challenge, we're gonna have to be writing code in order to persist our information to NS user defaults, perform a callback so that when I press the create account or cancel buttons, uh, we'll be able to pass that message back to my sign in view controller in order to dismiss my view. And then we're also going to figure out how to retrieve the information from NS user defaults and use that to test if the information entered into my username and password text fields are correct, as well as check my NS user defaults once I get into my regular view controller and display that information, our username and our password, uh, just to our, our view here.